Okay, in this video, we are here to show you how to use the Graph Tech Cutting Plotter Controller and setting up for a few different products that we sell over at Coleman and Company. We've got uh, some FDC glitter, we've got some sticky flock, we've got uh, FDC opaque vinyl. Uh, so we've got a few things, then we've just got some other random things that are some presets in there. But what we want to show you how to do is how to set up your cutting plotter controller, how to send and create tool conditions, save them and send them over to the cutting plotter. And then we'll walk over to the plotter uh, to our GraphTech CE6000 and we'll show you how to change them right on there. Very simple, hopefully a nice brief video. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing that we've got on here that I wanna show you is this tool condition area. Okay, the tool condition area is how you can set things for your cutter. So I'm gonna hit edit conditions right now. And here I've got FDC glitter, okay? So this is FDC vinyl that we're using, glitter, okay? And I can adjust my force and my speed are really the two things that I wanna talk about adjusting right now and then what tool I'm using, okay? So I'm gonna use the CB09U, that's a standard tool that's gonna to come with your machine and you've got the blade that comes with it. So when we've got that, the way we're cutting it over here is we've got our force set to a 24 and you can adjust that just like this. So you go up here and you can type in your FDC glitter or your FDC metallic or whatever else you've got. You just type whatever you want in right here. And you can go ahead and save that however you want it. We've got our speed set at 30. We don't run it crazy fast. We could go faster, but when we're cutting with glitter, it, uh, it can make a bunch of kind of that glitter lint and speckle and stuff like that. And when you're cutting really fast, I've noticed that it can get a little bit messier in the blade. So I just slow it down a bit. Generally speaking, uh, I'm not losing a ton of time. However, we do have folks that run it and tell me they run it at 60 all day. So uh, that's up to you. I'm just running it at 30 here. Uh, I'm gonna leave my, my acceleration at two. I'm gonna leave my offset set to zero. Then we can go ahead and we can click okay here. Now that's gonna save that as a preset. So we've done the same thing with Sticky Flock. I'm gonna show you this one as well. Sticky Flock, we've got our force to 29. We've got our speed at 30. We've got our acceleration at two and our offset at zero. For your opaque, we're running a force of 20. Speed of 60, we're going full speed. And then uh, we haven't touched our acceleration and our offset. And then I put opaque detailed. So if we're working with something with really, really small, tiny lettering, small corners, we like to slow it down a little bit. Um, so there we've got our speed slowed down to 30. And it looks like, you know, there's a little bit of playing here before. I'm gonna bump this up to 20 and that should be good. If we're gonna make something completely different, let's just say FDC sticker. I would probably put my force around 25 and I would put my speed at around 30. And depending, these aren't extremely specific all the time. I want you to understand that as you're working with a cutting plotter, okay? Some colors are gonna be thicker than others. White might be a little bit thicker than say silver. You are, you're gonna to have to make an adjustment because of that. If you're working with really small lettering versus a big giant circle, you're gonna make an adjustment for that. Um, if, I, if I just had big numbers, I would have no problem cranking the speed all the way up. Um, and if I'm working with a thicker vinyl substrate or a particular color even that's thicker, I might increase the force a little bit. That's why we do our test cuts. That's why we test every color. So before you cut anything, you always do your test cut. Before you cut your entire job, which is 150 pieces maybe, you test one. If you notice that it didn't cut quite perfect, if it didn't weed quite well, you make an adjustment. You can open up your right here, or we'll show you in the machine too in a minute. You open it up, you can bump up your force a couple, and then you can hit okay. All that force is doing is how hard it's pushing down. Uh, imagine uh, a little bit like it's if you were coloring with markers. Right, as a kid, you're coloring with markers or crayons. What do you do if you want a if you have a 
four colors, right? You only get four colors when you go to the restaurant. They don't give you the whole box. They give you four colors. So, but you want to color something pink and something red, but you have a red crayon, right? So what do you do? If you want it to be pink, sometimes you have to brush it a little bit light to get a lighter red on your paper. Sometimes you jam it down harder. So we're dealing with that same concept here. Sometimes you need to push that tool a little bit harder with a little bit more force. You're pushing the tool down harder onto your material to cut it a little bit better. Some, some colors will perform different than others. So not every opaque might be exactly the same. But these are great rules of thumb. These are great places to start. And the more you use it, um, the more you will go ahead and get used to it and you'll be able to do it right away. Bottom line, test with a test cut first with a little triangle. You should know how to do that. And then after that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and test one design. So if you're doing the number 55, you're gonna do the whole team for baseball, do 155, cut it out, weed it, make sure everything is good with your settings, stay with that color, and then go ahead and cut the rest of the team. Now, if you're switching over to red vinyl after that, I would it's good practice to do another quick test cut, do another test of say the names at that point in time, cut out Johnson, weed it, everything's good, then go ahead and finish out the rest. So that's it, you test everyone, use these as guidelines, and just because we do it one way doesn't mean the way that you choose to do it might not be different for depending on the type of vinyls you're using, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna move over to our cutting plotter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that real quick. So hold on a second, we're gonna get our cutting plotter and we're gonna set that up. Now we're at our cutter, right? And you see that we have the FDC glitter just like we had set up on our cutting plotter controller. All right. And I want to show you how we flip through the presets that we set before. And then we'll open up the cutting plotter controller again, vice versa. Okay. So we're on FDC glitter right now. Okay. A couple things we can do. We can hit this condition and say if I'm going to work with opaque, right? Number one is FDC glitter. You see, if I push one, now I can scroll through my presets. And I can do it to FDC opaque. Hit enter, and it's going to show everything right here. Speed of 60, force 15, everything that I have set up. Now let's say we were doing our test cut, right? Let's do a quick test cut and just see how everything works out. So we'll hit the arrow here to test. Okay, and we've got our test cut that was done right here. And everything looks fine there. We're all set. There we go. We're all set. Everything looks good there, right? Now, if it wasn't right, let me show you what I would do differently. All right, I would hit enter. And by the way, um, are, I'm sure we're set rotated now, right? You can see this is actually this is actually turned to the side right now because the arrow is pointing this way rather than up. And we're just on rotate. It doesn't make any difference. I'll show you how to adjust that just in case. We're going to go back to menu, menu, area, rotate is on. I'm going to hit two to turn it to off. Enter. And there we go. Now we're no longer rotated. If you wanted to see what a non-rotated condition test would be, there you go. And the arrows and the triangles down here. Okay, so everything's good. Now let's say it wasn't quite where I wanted to be, right? Let's just let's just say that it didn't. It the corner maybe got stuck a little bit, right? And I want to put a little more force. I can do that right here. I don't have to go to my cutting plotter controller. I hit number four for force, and I can adjust my force up or down. Hit enter, and now my force is 20. I can do the same thing with the speed, and I can do the same thing with adjusting here. Okay? Another, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and hit menu. Another thing I can do. see here if I hold down enter it's gonna bring this condition up screen up you see right now it's on condition 3 if I hit enter and then press 1 I'm in condition 1 
enter 2. I'm in condition 2. So that's a quick way to go between conditions. I just finished here. I know condition 1 is fine. I'm going to go there. I want to go to condition 4. I go right there. Okay. And then up arrow. And it says right here, down arrow, 1. OK, that's another way to do it. Hold down Enter, push the button or the arrow, or go to condition test and change it right there by pushing 1. OK, now set, let me show you on the screen here real quick. It says FDC glitter. Let's go make a change real quick in the cutting plotter controller. Cutting plotter controller is right here. I'm not going to change much. We'll just change this to vinyl, right? And then I'll make the force 25, just to show you. Hit OK. Hit Upload Setting to Plotter. Oh, communication cannot be established. That means that my USB is not plugged in, right? So just make sure my USB is plugged in. Upload Settings to the Plotter. There we go. So that's it. I just knocked my USB loose when I was moving the cutting plotter over. That's something that can happen to you. So that's really all it is. People will call up sometimes and say, my plotter controller can't connect. Uh, just plug the USB in. It's probably just loose. That's all it was. You saw it here live. It happens. But anyway, uh, right here you can see. Let me go ahead and, and bring the uh, camera back up so you can see. OK. And now you can see right here, FDC glitter vinyl that we updated, and the, the speed of 30 with the force of 25. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy making t-shirts. Enjoy using your cutter. And hopefully, we helped you out a bunch in this video, and you learned some cool stuff about settings and setting up your cutting plotter controller. Thank you.